Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of Bite the Bullet here on FIFA 16 featuring that orange man of the match 94 rated Luis Suarez. We've got another good episode for you guys today uh, and if you saw in the bottom corner there, if you wouldn't mind smashing a like on the video, that would be absolutely awesome. So, this is our current La Liga squad. It's looking very good. It's probably my favourite out of the bunch. This is our current Barcelona team. We have got the blue Iniesta in there now as well and then our current hybrid squad is in between squads but we've got like six players I think still need to go into that squad so that's why the chemistry is down however that's the first team we need to use in today's episode so we go into a game with that come up against a pretty average looking pacey sweaty BPL squad I mean he's got Kyle Walker at right mid for Christ's sake um, but so be it you know sometimes uh, if you just play possession football, then you can you can outdo those sorts of guys. I felt like we were gonna we were gonna win this game. Uh, we started off early with some shots on goal and stuff, and um, he wasn't really creating too much. He did create this opportunity, but uh, not Suarez. Ramirez in front of goal. He wasn't gonna net that. We do smash the bar with Luis Suarez right there. Pick it up with Thiago Silva of all people. Get in the box, but unfortunately the goalkeeper manages to save it. Play a lovely ball over to Royce. And what is Royce going to do? He's going to cut inside. He's going to cut inside again. In, out with the no-touch dribbling into the back of the net. Uh, that is a nice goal from a very, very nice player. Um, he's so good at that. Like any of those right-footed players with the four-star skill moves that play out on the left wing. Oh, they do a great job. And I imagine his connection went at this point in time. Because as you can see, he's in the middle of like kicking it. So I don't think he would have just turned his Xbox off with his controller in his hand and stuff like that. So we get the win, um, but I'm not going to count that one as a double points for the next episode or for the next game, should I say. And instead of going to the crossbow, we literally go straight into another match with the same team again uh, because we only played like not even one half of football. Um, come up against another BPL squad. I would say this one looks stronger than the one previous to it. Um, but I felt quite confident once again. I get a very lucky early goal with Lionel Messi. Assisted from Luis Suarez. Um, and this, this particular game, I'm pretty sure, is where I realised just how good Leo Messi is on FIFA. Like, I, am, I am aware that he's absolutely amazing in real life. Um, but I actually got a chance to play with him. You know, really use him on this game. Taking some shots with Suarez, it wasn't quite working. I was either putting too much power on it or not enough accuracy. Eventually, we do pick a goal up with the main man. Um, but it was a tap-in from a sort of saved shot before. This is this moment right here is where I realised, oh, I love Messi. The finesse shot of dreams. He's so good at doing that. I have done that time and time again. And I'm pretty sure as soon as I hit that, I was like, yeah, that's a goal. Definite goal. He's such a boss. Uh, and if that wasn't enough, we go into half time. We come out of half time, and Leo picks the ball up here, takes the smasher, top of the net. I mean, he is honestly such a perfect FIFA 16 player. He's low with center of gravity. He's got that awesome dribbling, um, loads of pace, and his shooting ability is just off the charts. Love the man. Cannot even imagine how amazing the 99 Messi is. Um, I would love to try him out someday. And I'm pretty sure his price is relatively okay. Look at what I do right here. I get cocky. I'm thinking, okay, I'll put the ball down and kick it up the pitch. No. Raheem Sterling is there to tap the ball into the net. And this guy's gone ahead and got two goals back against me. When really I was just cruising. Bit stupid on my part, but hey, it doesn't really matter. We win the game four goals to two. Hat-trick for Messi, one for Suarez, and a couple of assists for him as well. Means that we have now got 9.5 shots in the bank, 17 points in the bank. Let's go ahead and take, uh, I don't know, four shots on the target, I think. First one, I literally nearly annihilate the 10-pointer. That is brutal. That was an absolutely perfect shot right there. We then hit a five-pointer. I tell you what, I'm getting good at hitting that ten-pointer right now. I'm very, very good at that. We've, we've, let's face it, we've hit enough shots on the target. I don't know what that one's doing, laying sideways. Um, but with our final shot, we hit a five-pointer. And um, we're now up to 37 points. So I'm going to spend a bunch of them. I'm going to unlock three of our six-pointers, um, which is the maximum amount of players I'm allowed to unlock in one go. So we'll get the six-pointers out of the way. Marquisio, Handanovic, Caceres, they're going to come into the squad. Oh, my voice is going, man. It's too early in the morning for me to be recording commentary. I need, like, a hot drink to wake up the vocal cords. Um, yeah, but we got... 
I forgot to mention we got Bellerin sent off in that game. Um, so he's going to sit on the reserves for this game. And another player that I've got in my ultimate team um, that actually had a red card. I think it was like Connor Anchor or something. Just so I can get rid of those red cards. Um, and we go into our final game of the episode with the Barca squad. What we come up against is a 4-3-3 number 4 variant. Uh, a typical sort of strong link squad. Nice hybrid, I guess you could call it. Some very, very good overpowered players in that team. Definitely someone to watch out for. Now, I didn't have kickoff, but I scored within 1 minute and 39 seconds. I was quite impressed with that. We just picked the ball up, counter-attacked, and a lovely, powerful header from Suarez at the near post. Puts us 1-0 up. Um, I felt very comfortable in this match again. I don't know if I mean really comfortable, but I mean like I felt like we were going to win. Um, he was a relatively decent player. He had his fair share of opportunities, uh, but I was having loads of opportunities. I was missing them, but I was confident that eventually I would just butt my ideas up and actually, you know, stick the ball in the back of the net again. He does equalize near post with Lacazette. That is Bravo not doing what he should be doing in goal. Uh, and at halftime, as you can see, we're drawing the game. But I, re I reckon we've had a bit of a more positive first half than my opponent. We get through with Suarez in the second half. Ugh, it's completely screwing it up. I literally felt like he bottled that right there. I then play a lovely ball over to Neymar. Similar situation. And Farman saves it once again. Couldn't believe it. However, we keep the ball with Neymar. We somehow get into the box. Take the finesse shot. Goes in the back of the net. Easy as that. And we are 2-1 up after 67 minutes. Feeling quite confident that that scoreline was at least going to either stay the same or we would improve on it. Um, I started to relax a little bit in game and things were going relatively well for me. He did get an opportunity with Valbuena which hit the post which rattled me a little bit. So I decided you know what we need to keep the ball up this side of the pitch uh, and really you know attempt to score another goal. Suarez nearly does that. Some amazing dribbling by him right there. But look at the amount of defenders he's got back. And in the end we do keep that scoreline as it was. We win two goals to one. One goal from Suarez, one from Neymar uh, and uh, the assist as well from Suarez which brings our points for him up. We're now at eight and a half shots in the bank and I think it was 19 points in the bank. We hit a five pointer. We're going to take four shots on the target right here. Five pointer to start us off. I was aiming for a 10 but I hit a two. Okay I'm then going to aim for the 10 again and miss. That was probably due to my cockiness earlier of saying how good I am at hitting the 10 and then I literally aim for the 10 again and hit a two. Absolutely shoddy performance, but we do get like nine uh, points from that one right there. So it's time to unlock uh, one of our two remaining Barcelona players. I decided to go for Lionel Messi due to his prior performance in the other in the other team that we've actually unlocked him in. So we spend 12 points on Messi. He comes into the squad. We now officially have MSN, Messi, Suarez, Neymar in our Barca squad right now, which I'm pretty excited about. I know we're coming towards the end of this series, um, but to finally unlock these, these three and then have that team of the year Iniesta there as well. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. So all that's left to do, guys, is say if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. That would be really appreciated. Subscribe to my channel for more of this type of content. We're coming to the end of this series, guys, which means I need to start thinking of a new idea for another new Road to Glory after this one. If you have any ideas at all, let me know down below in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.